the WWE has officially been sold to the UFC parent company Endeavor. Vince McMahon was speaking about it. I'll break it all down. What does this mean? And what's next for the WWE? It's the Flex Zone Podcast. Hit that subscribe button, sound off in the comments, and hit that bell. Only place giving you sports how you want it, when you need it. Flex Zone Podcast. There you heard it right from the horse's mouth, the devil's mouth. Vince McMahon, he claims he is not. <laughs> yes and no, he's part of creative. WW, it's officially sold on the heels of one of the greatest WrestleManias in recent memory, possibly of all time, depending on who you ask. You know they made the most money. They've had the most impressions from an analytical and statistical standpoint. Financial standpoint, it's been the most successful WrestleMania over two nights in WWE history. And what do the wonderful sleuths at Titan Tower do? They continue the weekend and have even bigger news by announcing a sale not even 24 hours after night two ended with WrestleMania. Now, that quote was courtesy of Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon, because even after this sale, Vince is still in charge as CEO and chairman of the board. Now, technically, Ari Emanuel, Ari Emanuel, excuse me, is the CEO, but he says he defers to Vince when it comes to decisions. Now let's read the official press release and I'll break it all down. This is courtesy of CNBC. Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Entertainment has agreed to merge with UFC to form a new publicly traded company controlled by Endeavor Group. The companies announced Monday morning Endeavor will own a 51% stake in the new combat sports and entertainment company, while WWE shareholders will have the remaining 49%. Remember, Miss McMahon is the majority shareholder, so shareholder. So he has the 49% practically that WWE is allowed with Endeavor. According to the terms of the agreement, the deal values WWE at $9.3 billion. So Vince got his money in Endeavor, $12.1 billion, the company said in a press conference. So Vince got his money. He was looking for seven, eight, nine billion, I'm sure. He got nine point three billion, didn't have to sell it to the Saudis, and sold it to the parent company of UFC. Shares of WWE and Endeavor fell Monday morning. It's expected that this deal will close in the second half of 2023. Ari Emanuel will act as chief executive of both Endeavor and the new company, the companies under McMahon as well. McMahon likewise will be the executive chairman. While Endeavor's president and COO, Mark Shapiro, will also work in the same roles at the new company. Dana White, good friend of Vince McMahon's, will also remain president of UFC, UFC and Nick Khan, good friend, Vince's yes man, his minion, Nick Khan, will stay president of the wrestling business. And once again, it'll be another pat on Nick Khan's back as they made a lot of money this past weekend. This is going to be UFC 2.0, Emmanuel said in an interview Monday morning on CNN. The board will consist of 11 people, six appointed by Endeavor and five by WWE. The merged company's name will be announced at the later time. The company will trail the New York Stock Exchange under their ticker symbol TKO. The deal and announcement confirmed to CNBC came a day after WWE wrapped up its flagship event, WrestleMania in California. The company has spent this past several months looking for a buyer. Remember, where there was smoke, there was fire. There were rumors that they were going to be sold to the Saudi. It looks like it was going to be Endeavor all along. They were much like Vince McMahon laying in the weeds and waiting for the right time to announce this because a deal like this doesn't just happen overnight doesn't just happen in two, three weeks, one, two months. This has been in the works for the past few months, hence why you heard Vince is back, hence why you heard Vince is backstage, hence why you heard, really, Vince was never gone all along. WWE has a market value of about $6.5 billion, so Vince definitely had to come up there, and Endeavor has a market cap of about $10 billion. So all in all, you're looking at a ridiculous merger here, which 
ridiculous in terms of amount of how much these two companies will combine on. It's a combined 21 billion, basically a tag team of the UFC and WWE for 21 billion. We know Vince McMahon and Data White are great friends. We've seen Vince McMahon after premium live events with his son-in-law and daughter at UFC events front row in public, where we don't see Vince out in public very often. He's front row at UFC events. He was last year after Money in the Bank in Vegas. They move or made sure the event was finished so they could still attend the main event of the fight that evening. They're in bed with each other. They are both good friends with former President Donald Trump and guys like Ron DeSantis. They are part of the one percent they get along very very well so you got dana white you got nick khan who's been on the board making the business a lot of money going around being the yes man smiling and profiling and cheesing hard for the wwe telling them that oh vince isn't around vince isn't in 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 in, in any aspect of this it's his company but he's not doing anything he's lying because clearly vince was on the interview today with with his new guy uh ariel ari emmanuel and Clearly, Vince has some say. Now, to that quote, as I mentioned, Vince said he's going to be on a higher level. Saying he is, but he won't and doesn't need to be present to do it. Basically, like he's been doing all along. He hasn't had to be present until recent weeks where he was backstage at Raw, seeing a gorilla with a headset on. It was reported that he was at both nights of WrestleMania and Gorilla. He doesn't have to be there every day. Yes, Triple H is still going to be the fall guy. This reminds you of the situation with Eric Bischoff, with Paul Heyman, where Eric Bischoff was running SmackDown, where Paul Heyman was running Raw, and Eric Bischoff didn't even get a chance to really get his feet wet. And then they were the fall guys, and it was really Vince running the show all along. This is no different here. Vince, he doesn't have to be in every creative meeting. He doesn't have to be in every aspect of the day-to-day of the creative process. But at the end of the day, with major angles, with major situations, with major decisions on who wins, who holds championships, where events are held, where and when, premium live events take place, Vince will be the final part of that final say-so and have ultimate say. You look at matches like Brock Lesnar and Omos. You look at certain legends coming back like Trish Stratus, Lita being a tag team champion with Becky Lynch. Just little things that you see and hear, different terminology used on promos, short, little, ugly, things that you won't hear, promos having to be rewritten because it's saying wrestling instead of sports entertainment. Think about it. Think about it, guys. Vince never left all along. He was laying in the weeds. That's what he does and is known to do best. But now he can be back in front of plain sight. We know that UFC has a 51% stake. WWE has a 49% stake with their shareholders. Vince McMahon is the majority shareholder. Thus, what Vince McMahon says goes. He's still chairman of the board. Now, Ari Emanuel is the CEO. But I say that with air quotes because he's going to let Vince have free reign. He's going to let Vince do whatever Vince sees fit and best for his company, which is WWE. Vince got $9.3 billion when they were only valued at $7. So a billion and some change. He had to come up. He got his big payday. He didn't have to give it to his son-in-law or daughter. He has ultimate power. Nick Khan, his ultimate yes man, is on the board. Michelle Berrios and those other individuals, Nick Khan, are with him still. They will do whatever he says. He can go out and commit cold-blooded murder, which he practically has done, and committed sexual assault which he's paid off with his own money. He's now even paid the company back, so I'm sure he's in great standing with everyone there. And this whole damn mustache he got on, just don't help it. It gives very shady vibes to me, very, very shady, but it should be no surprise with Vince McMahon. It should be no surprise with Vincent Kennedy McMahon because, I mean, come on now. We laugh, we joke about him, but we know he's the type to always say something crazy, say something wild. You don't know what might come out of his mouth, and now he's in the shadows, quote-unquote. He doesn't have to be there every day. Hey, here. Yeah! That aspect of Vince McMahon is just a true fact and something that we have to be aware of. Look at the decision last night. Did Roman winning have to do possibly with the merger? Possibly, but Vince McMahon ultimately had final say, I'm sure, and a lot of creative input for that decision. And rumor is they even had that decided weeks ago. Vince wants his greatest creation to reach a thousand days. Vince wants Roman to be known as one of the greatest champions of all time and one of the greatest of all time. Vince McMahon is back. He never really left, if you ask me. Now he can be out in front of it in the public eye. He's paid off his accusers. He's back in good standing. He's atoned for his sins with money. He has working with someone that a CEO is going to let him have free reign. He's a majority shareholder. Vince McMahon is, yes, going to say, oh, 
Triple H is the head of day-to-day -day creative, but I'm not there, quote unquote, every day, but I'll be at the big events. I'll be at certain shows. I'll be deciding where we have certain shows, what happens on these shows, and ultimate decisions on who wins, who loses, and who holds the championships for this company, as will still be publicly traded as well. But let me know what you guys think about the Vince McMahon WWE whole situation, a $12 billion merger, billion with the B, $21 billion merger. I'm, I'm sorry. Too many, too many numbers. It's it's more than I can even fathom. $21 billion merger with Endeavor, the parent company of the UFC. Could this mean the WWE could possibly move away from Peacock and Fox over the next few years with their TV rights deals due next year? Or could we see WWE premium live events going to ESPN Plus? Or like Nick Khan possibly said, going back to that model of $50 plus dollars per pay-per-view, $49.99, $50 per pay-per-view and not with the streaming umbrella peacock, but I think WWE wants to stay with a streaming partner, so that could be ESPN Plus, but I think they could stay with Peacock. We'll see next year with the streaming deals and right. $21 billion merger, WWE and UFC. What do you think? What is the reason behind it? Vince is the reason behind it. Vince is the reason behind it because he still has ultimate power, ultimate control. Yes, Triple H will have his things where he has, oh, Triple H bought this back. Triple H has made this look great. We love what Triple H is doing, and he did a great job with that this past weekend. But you still see Vince's influence. You still see sprinkles of Vince, and you see Vince in the biggest matches and the biggest moments with his creation, Roman Reigns, guys like John Cena, Austin Theory, and so on and so forth. The momentum of guys like Bray Wyatt, even though he might be sick and hurt, just the booking, the creative, the use of the women's matches. Let me know. Vince is back. He's the ultimate shareholder. He makes ultimate decisions. He won't be part of the day-to-day, -day, but he will have final say on certain things, and he doesn't have to lay in the weeds, and he can operate in the public. God's favorite host signing off. Sign off in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thank you for all the support this weekend. Check out our live streams for WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2, and we'll see you live tonight for Flex Zone Podcast. Again, WWE has been sold to Endeavor, the parent company of the United Fighting UFC. I don't know what UFC stands for. What does UFC stand for? UFC is Ultimate Fighting Championship. Duh. But <laughs> Ultimate Fighting Championship. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? Also, Triple H is set to kick off Raw tonight with a major announcement. Will it be about the sale? Will it be a new championship? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.